Welcome back everyone to Marketing Thursday. My name is Dmitry Lipinski, your host. This is our most popular playlist at Roofing Insights. And today we are talking about content marketing. Everything you need to know and why you should invest in content marketing for your roofing business. I absolutely love content marketing. You guys see how much content we produce here at Roofing Insights, but it started years ago at my roofing business when I started to produce content and market my roofing business through content marketing. What is content marketing? Well, the concept is very, very simple. You market your service or your business through content you produce. It doesn't matter what it is you know, blogs, video, Facebook lives, social engagement, no matter what, if you produce content on a regular uh, basis, you will market your brand, you will promote your company. And in this video, I wanna give you seven tips about content marketing. So content marketing is generating free content and monetizing it later when people come to you, monetizing the traffic, that attention. So if you follow guys like Gary Vee and a lot of big, big guys in marketing world, they uh, religiously practice content marketing. They produce so much free content, but uh, don't be mistaken, that free content always generates sales, always brings brand awareness and always transfers into sales and money in general. Three reasons why I personally absolutely love content marketing. Number one, it's free. When I started YouTube channel for my roofing business, the main reason was because I didn't have money for TV ads or for a radio commercials. YouTube was free and to this day is free and my number one medium is video, YouTube. So I started YouTube channel for my roofing business because I couldn't afford anything else. Number two, it works. People love uh, consuming content as, as long as it's organic and we will talk a little bit more about it. And number three, it works forever. Once you created good content for your audience, it's there for the rest of times to bring you value and traffic to your business. I wanna share a few testimonials really quick. Just today I've seen this post from my friend, Joseph Hughes. He, um, he made this post, keep sharing your valuable content and trust the process. Just because you don't get a lot of engagement doesn't mean people aren't watching. Most people observe without engaging. You never know who is paying attention. Couldn't agree more. So I posted it in our group, Roofing Insights private group. By the way, if you're not a member of that group and you own a roofing business, I invite you to join. And we have few people here sharing their testimony on content marketing. One of them is Philip saying, yep, people tell me, yeah, I've been watching your videos and I'm like really just because you aren't getting likes doesn't mean people aren't watching and sitting on the edge of their uh, seats Nate also said yeah I definitely hear from a lot of people about how they see my videos but I don't see them commenting or engaging even my wife said the other night how all of her friends watch my videos and I'm like what that's weird lol so People will watch, uh, it's not about likes, it's not about comments, it's not about dislikes, it's about engagement, it's about sales. And when you produce massive amount of content, sooner or later, you will start getting engagement back in the forms you would never even think of. Like for example, when I start producing content on a regular basis for my uh, roofing business, I remember going on estimates and people would, uh, tell me during the estimates, like, yeah, Dimitri, I've seen your videos, this is why I called you. We have literally people walking into their office because they've seen me reviewing the products and they wanted to check if I'm a real person, if it's a real business, if we're legit. Uh, we just sold $17,000 job four months ago. A person walked in, it was OC Flex review that brought him in, he's seen the product review. Um, he was searching for OC Flex and he decided to come in. So let me explain on a very simple example. A couple of years ago, I tore my ACL by playing soccer. So I needed $15,000, $20,000 surgery and I went on Google and then started searching ACL replacement surgeries. And uh, I stumbled upon this article by this doctor here in uh, Minneapolis, and he was explaining different methods, how you can replace, restructure your knee uh, 
Uh, ACL is very complicated surgery, but there's a few methods. So obviously, if you would search ACL replacement or ACL surgery, you will see a lot of ads from hospitals. I go to a really big conference in Cleveland called Content Marketing World, and I actually have seen it in action where uh, big hospitals uh, share their data, how much content they produce for free and how much business it generates them, you know, even for the hospitals. And uh, my testimony is the same thing. When I was looking for ACL replacement surgery, I did not see the ad. I actually found the article. And when I realized that that doctor who wrote that article in my city and I can actually book appointment with him, I was sold immediately. So the piece of content that I found was free to me. It was not paid ad. It's probably been on the internet for years, but because it was there, it was relevant to my search. Uh, it built that instant connection with a doctor and he actually operated on my knee. It was very expensive. Couldn't run for like nine months after that. But I found my doctor because of content marketing, not because of ad, not because of Google search of best hospitals, because I've trusted that doctor through his article. So let's talk about how you can create content for your business and how you can master your content marketing game. So number one, find your mediums. Find what you're best at. Are you a good writer? Are you really good in the camera? Maybe you have an amazing voice and podcast is your medium. Maybe you live Facebook live crazy videos and you just uh, travel document everywhere you go. It doesn't really matter what the medium is. You just have to be really good at it. For example, writing is not my medium. People mock me all the time. My grammar is horrible. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be the person who writes really big articles. So I hire people to write my articles. We still, as a business, we produce a lot of articles, but that's not my medium. My medium is this, it's a video, but your medium can be pictures. Maybe you're a funny guy like Basdam Roofer and you like to create a lot of funny memes. Maybe you like music. You can actually create a lot of content in music as well. Do one and outsource other mediums, but dominate one. You can be number one podcast uh, host in your game. You can be number one writer. You can have most popular blog in your industry. You can have the biggest Instagram account. Doesn't matter. Find your medium and dominate that medium. Number two, only create content that you're absolutely passionate about. So if you don't feel like it, if you don't feel like it's your passion, don't create content just because Dmitry told you to create content. We're good in certain areas. So if you're not good at it or you don't feel like it, then don't even talk about it. It can be anything. If you're in sales, you can create a lot of content about sales. If you're a good installer, you can create content about you know, installation. If you're a great door knocker, you can create a lot of content about knocking on doors. You get the idea. Number three, once you pick your passion, show your expertise, show off all your smarts, all your insights information, show how you're different, show your different thinking. People like to follow smart guys, smart tips. Why would I follow you? Why you're different than others? Teach me something I don't know about that area of expertise, become true expert to me. Number four, this is absolutely must. You have to produce content regularly not one time per month. I mean, maybe if you're creating really big video, like one and a half hours once a month, that would be fine. But I would recommend producing something every single week, even if it's just one piece of content, but it's solid, it's okay. I produce probably 10, 15 pieces of content every week between you know three YouTube videos. We do three videos for our online business school. We also post a lot of pictures, memes. We have a team of four five guys here who constantly thinking about you know writing blogs writing articles uh, guys like Gary Vee produce you know have 17 people on their team and they pump so much content daily probably 10 times more than we put per month it doesn't really matter what really matters is consistency tip number five you have to optimize your content to the fullest uh, there's no reason for you not to dominate in your keywords 
whether you're writing your blogs, it's not enough just to write a blog. It's not enough just to film that video. You also have to optimize it. Make sure when people are searching for it, they can find it. That's why when we help our students with the YouTube channels, you can see some guys on the YouTube, they create amazing content. But if you even search for that title, even if you've seen the video, you still can't find it because it's not optimized. Whether it's blogs on your website, whether it's YouTube videos, or even Facebook you want to make sure your title your metadata find someone who can help you to optimize it so people can find it again this is your business it's your brand this is content marketing while it's free information it still should be popular people should be able to find it when they need it and if they don't what's the point of creating it in the first place so if you're gonna put all the work to create the content make sure you also do the effort to optimize it so people can find it. Number six, promote your content regularly. So if you are a YouTuber, make sure you have mentions of your YouTube channel or on your Instagram or LinkedIn, on your website. Uh, in today's marketing world, it's all interconnected and you wanna make sure that people can actually find it. They already love you, love your brand. If they follow you on one channel, they probably will find you on another one. I know a lot of people that I follow and it's almost impossible for me to follow someone just on YouTube. So sometimes I go to their Instagram account and I see posts that new video is up and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I have to go check it out. Make sure you cross promote, make sure you tell people, tell your friends, tell your followers, whether it's an email blast, I don't know. Um, what channels you're gonna be um, optimizing the most, but make sure you cross promote your content as well. And lastly, just because you produce a lot of free content doesn't mean that you cannot have service. Make sure you have small service uh, that you can monetize, that you can ask something back. Like I want you to give way more that you ask, but it's okay every once in a while to have something all major creators, all major influencers, they usually have a small, you know, ebook. It could be small service. It could be, you know, a small product, you know, like gloves, sporting goods. It can be like whatever. You can have, you know, a pair of like selling your shirts, your, you know, iPhone covers. Make sure when you start having fans and followers and people engaging with you on a regular basis, make sure they also can do business with you. Make, make sure they can buy from you. For example, Gary V, he has you know army of millions of followers. And when he introduces a service like you know online wine library, people will go and it's a subscription-based service. How many of them will do it? Not many, but when I'm looking for a way to support Gary V, at least he has a service. And if I'm a wine drinker, why not subscribe to his service just to show appreciation to Gary V? You get the idea. When people like you and follow you and you bring value to them, every once in a while, if you ask them something, buy my book, subscribe here, support that person, make sure you have a cause, make sure you have a small offer, something, something that they can pay back and they can also do transaction with you. Again, it's not about you. It's We don't create free content always to have sales later, but when you don't have any service, to offer, you don't have any products, you, they, your audience don't have opportunity to give back to you and to show support to you as well. Content marketing works, all those tips, they work. They work for a lot of people who've been doing it for years, including myself. Let me know in comments below if you struggle in creating free content for people. I know a lot of business owners only think about transaction, only think about, you know, I'm gonna pay this dollar amount to this radio or for this lead service company and I'm gonna get this in return. People in business um, struggle and often with the free content marketing world. They don't understand how blogging or creating free videos really can help them. But people who start doing it uh, really fast realize the value of it. So comment below, I would like to hear your feedback. What's your pain points? Why is it so hard for you to generate free content? Because we all can do it. You know, YouTube is free for everyone. Facebook is free. We all can write, but yet, only few of us do. I wanna hear from you, I wanna help you, and if you need more help from me, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, more videos like this will be coming to this channel every single Thursday like we've been putting them for years. I wanna hear from you. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're the roofing contractor and you want to be added to Roofing Insights family, check our online directory, roofinginsights.com slash directory. We back up all roofers on our directory by $20,000 guarantee. We send you leads and all the homeowners who come for us for advice are going to see your listing on our website.